name is Blessing and I have BTZ business owners like you to get more business deals with improved business English skills. Alright, welcome to this week edition, this week podcast. I want to say big thank you to you, to all my listeners, for where where you are. You are important to me. Thank you a lot. Enjoy the podcast. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about overcoming your fear of speaking with your clients and business partners in English. Overcoming your fear of speaking with your clients and business partners in English. Learning how to speak English with authority with your clients and business partners can be a bit hard. You are not the only business owner who has the fear of speaking English with your clients and business partners. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this podcast, especially if your clients and business partners have better English proficiency level than yours. Meaning they'll speak or they have better business English skills, better than yours. Overcoming your fear of speaking English with your clients and business partners will take time and effort from you. That doesn't mean it's an impossible mission for you. It's not. Despite your busy schedules as a business owner, you can overcome your fear. So I want you to use the tips that I will give you today to move toward confidence. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this podcast. In case you want to sign up for free business English resources that will help you get more business deals, you can send me a message with the word free from podcast via email and my email address is blessing at friendlycoach.com blessing at friendlycoach.com b-l-e-s-s s for snow i-n-g at friendlycoach.com don't waste time speak with confidence during your next business meetings and business events even though you have been trying to get confident in your business English skills, you are not alone if fear holds you back. From speaking confidently in English during business meetings or business events, speak with confidence during your next business meetings and business events, you can send me a message with the word podcast. Via email, uh, my email address is blessing at friendlycoach.com. E L E S S I N G at friendlycoach. Nevertheless, frequent effort and practice will help you reduce your fear and you will be able to build your confidence. Sometimes the fear that you are wrong or you won't be understood when you speak English owes you back. It's not a problem, so don't view it as a problem. You will be able to overcome your fear as long as you are ready to take action. So I want you to try the tips. I want you to try the tips that I will give you constantly. Try them constantly. Speak with confidence during your next business meetings and business events. You can send me a message by the word podcast via email. And my email address is blessing at friendlycoach.com. You can also sign up for free business English resources that will help you get more business deals. Send me a message with the word free from podcast. Free from podcast. Via email. And my email address is blessing at friendlycoach.com. So the pool for this week is... What do you do when you're scared of making grammatical blunders? And the two options here are the first one is I keep quiet and the second one is I say something else. So what's your choice? Do you keep quiet or do you say something else? Secret codes for confidence business English skills. 
And as you know, I'm a business English coach for Middle Eastern business owners. So these are the side for Middle Eastern business owners. If you can make you give up even before you open your mouth to speak with your clients and business partners in English, the longer you wait to speak, the harder it becomes for you and the bigger your fear. The fear you have is no way you can overcome it. Speak with confidence during your next business meetings and business events. You can send me a message with the word podcast via email. And my email address is blessingatpendelicoach.com. If you don't know where to start working and overcoming your fears, I can help you. Build your level of confidence in your business English skills, the unbeatable course that work easily. You will get confident when using your business English skills without faking it. You, your business friends will be surprised at their level of confidence. They'll speak with confidence during your next business meetings and business events. Send me a message with the word podcast. Via email and my email address is blessing at friendlycoach.com. Fix your bad business English conversation skills. You don't want to think that you are less of a business owner because of bad business English conversation skills. A lot of business owners think less of themselves because of bad business English conversation skills. They have toast like this. I think that I'm not good enough. I think that it's difficult to get better business English conversation skills. Those tools will never help you get better business English conversation skills. Never. They won't help you become good enough for yourself. Let's work together one-on-one to help you get better business English conversation skills and improve all your business English skills. We won't work for just a month. We'll work together for eight months. That's the minimum. And that's to show you that I'm ready to help you get the fluent business English skills that you desire. After the completion of the eight months English coaching program, I won't leave you alone to lose your fluency. Never. No. I can work with a few numbers of Middle Eastern business owners and will you be among them? In case you want to know more, speak with confidence during your next business meetings and business events. You can send me a message with the word podcast in your email. And my email address is blessing at friendlycoach.com. You can also get free business and get resources for yourself. You can send me a message directly to my email. And my email address is blessing at friendlycoach.com. About the first tip I have here for you is speak slowly, slow down. Speaking slower will make you sound more confident and trustworthy. I don't mean you speaking like, Hello, this is lesson. No. I know a bit fast, but you can speak like this. Hello, my name is Blasen. You know, that's karma. It's slower. Okay. Hello, my name is Blasen. How can I help you today? How does that sound? Different. Awesome. Okay. And the next one is improve your pronunciation skills. The next one is practice confident body language. You know, communication is not about just speaking or writing. No, it's about your body language. It's also about your body language, both I'm say active body language or damaged body language. What I mean is if you're moving your hand or the way you behave or your eyes, everything, they all help you during conversations, during business meetings or business events, during communications. Okay, so you need to practice confident body language. Yes, it takes time, but you need to put in the effort, okay? The next one is practice making mistakes and correcting yourself right on the spot. Yes, practice making mistakes and correcting yourself right on the spot. It takes a bit of time to do that. I know. 
but you'll be fine. And no one will faint because of your grammatical blunders. No one will faint. And before you start a business conversation in English, imagine yourself speaking fluently. The truth is, it might look like you are doing nonsense, but it will work. As long as you're practicing and you visualize yourself speaking fluently and confidently, it will work for you. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this podcast. And in case you want to speak with confidence during your next business meetings and business events, you can send me a message with the word podcast via email. And my email address is blessing at com. You can also get free business English resources for yourself. Send me a message with the word free from podcast directly to that same email address and my email address is blazing at friendlycoach.com see you next week take care of yourself bye 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 <laughs> bye oh thank you my wonderful people thank you thank you i'm saying a big thank you to you for listening to this podcast right from the beginning and to this point thank you <laughs> all right in case you want to give me feedback or you want to speak with me or you want to work with me you can share me out on instagram at friendly girls on twitter at friendly girls on facebook at friendly girls and on linkedin blessing and lattice on me blessing and lattice on me okay or you can search for business english coach for business owners on linkedin business english coach for business owners then you will see my name blessing and lattice on me all right or you can check out my website www.friendlylycoach.com www.friendlylycoach.com and see you next week.